Right, so question two. What would the three dimensional transition state for the SN2 reaction between cyanide anion with bromoethane look like? So here we have the cyanide anion and it's going to be attacking, this is SN2, so it's going to be nucleophilic attack, the bromine, and it needs to attack from the opposite side of the bromine, so it's attacking from this side, so I'm going to put the bromine like this, so then I'm going to put the other hydrogens like this, so I have my 3D molecule as requested. The cyanide molecule is going to come, it's going to attack here, and then this bromine molecule is going to break off, but they want the transition state. They want to know what that would look like when it's transitioning. So here's the cyanide anion, right? And it's partially negative. It's attaching to the carbon. It's partially negative because it had a negative charge up here, but now it's starting to gain a positive charge because it's you know, it's attaching, it's attaching itself to the carbon. It's starting to share a bond so that that negative charge that was up here is beginning to disappear. And the bromine is beginning to leave and it's beginning to gain um, a negative charge because it's beginning to gain electrons, right? It's beginning to gain these two electrons to break off and become an anion. So that's the way the transition state would look for that reaction.